the dominant institution of our time has been created in the image of a psychopath who bears the moral responsibility for its actions. Can a building have moral opinions? Can a building have social responsibility? If a building can't have social responsibility, what does it mean to say that a corporation can? A corporation is simply a artificial legal structure. But the people who are engaged in it, whether the stockholders, whether the executives in it, whether the employees, they all have moral responsibilities. It's a fair assumption that every human being, real human beings, flesh and blood ones, not corporations, but every flesh and blood human being is a moral person. You know, we've got the same genes, we're more or less the same, uh, but our, uh, you know, our nature, the nature of humans, allows all kinds of behavior. I mean, I, every one of us under some circumstances could be, uh, you know, a, a gas chamber attendant and a saint. No job, in my experience with Goodyear, has been as frustrating as the CEO job. Because even though the perception is that you have absolute power to do whatever you want, the reality is you don't have that power. Sometimes, if you had really a free hand, if you really did what you wanted to do that suits your personal uh, thoughts and your personal priorities, you'd act differently. But as a CEO, you cannot do that. Layoffs have become so widespread that people tend to believe that CEOs make these decisions without any consideration to the human implications of their decisions. It is never a decision that any CEO makes lightly. It is a tough decision. Um, but it is uh, the consequence of modern capitalism. When you look at a corporation, just like when you look at a slave owner, uh, you want to distinguish between the institution and the individual. So uh, slavery, for example, or other forms of tyranny are inherently monstrous. But the individuals participating in them may be the nicest guys you can imagine. Benevolent, friendly, nice to their children, even nice to their slaves, uh, caring about um, other people. I mean, as individuals, they may be anything. Uh, the, as in, a, in their institutional role, they're monsters because the, the institution's monstrous. And the same is true here. My wife and I, some years ago, had a, at our home a demonstration. Uh, Twenty-five people arrived, they hung a big banner on the top of our house saying murderers. They danced around outside in gas masks and so on. Yes. Yeah, how are you? Oh, my name's John. How are you? John. <laughs> well, you're not looking at me when you say it. You have to be a little bit careful because I'm very sensitive to uh, oh, people okay. who are not friendly. Hello, hello. Okay. Did you notice you being re recorded and filmed? No, I didn't. No. Well, I well, think you'll see yourself in television. Yeah, but it'd be polite to mention, wouldn't it? I mean, here we are. We're not polite this. You're a which is funding directly police, which this corporation has admitted. Uh, yeah, who is a corporation? A corporation, a corporation is an organisation of individuals, and this individual is part of that corporation. As a public demonstration, it wasn't very effective. There were only two. This is a very rural area, two people and a dog, and it's not a very big house, which I think rather surprised them. But then we sat down and talked to them for a couple of hours, and uh, you know, we gave them tea and coffee, and they had lunch on our lawn. Sorry, well, there's another coffee coming. There's, uh, there's no. Who wants it? I'm sorry about the soya, anyway. I've not put no no need for you to be deceitful. Why didn't you just ask me whether I was in? I know, we hang a murderous banner off the <laughs> After about 20 minutes, they said, well, the problem's not you, you know, it's Shell. So I said, no, wait a minute, let's uh, talk about what is Shell. You know, it's made up of people like me. In the end, what we found in that discussion was all the things that they were worried about, I was worried about as well. Climate, you know, oppressive regimes, human rights. The big difference between us was I feel that I actually can make a contribution to this. These people were frustrated because they felt they had no, nothing to do. So an individual CEO, let's say, may really care about the environment. And in fact, since they have such extraordinary resources, they can even devote some of their resources to that without violating their responsibility to be totally inhuman. 
which is why, as the Moody Stuarts serve tea to protesters, Shell Nigeria can flare unrivaled amounts of gas, making it one of the world's single worst sources of pollution. And all the professed concerns about the environment do not spare Ken Sarawiwa and eight other activists from being hanged for opposing Shell's environmental practices in the Niger Delta. Hi there, this is Mark Akbar. I produced and co-directed The Corporation, and this is the official shareware version of the film. I'm proud of the fact that hundreds of thousands of people have already downloaded and shared this film. If I had a dollar for every download, well, I probably wouldn't be making this appeal. More than 200 people worked on the film, the DVD, and the website over eight years. If you support the film, please support the filmmakers too. You can make a contribution, large or small, even a couple of bucks would help, at thecorporation.com. Thanks.